The final patch before beta is upon us and all I can think about is how I'm going to get 30 tips for a patch with so little content. Well judging by the title of this video, unless I've joined the rest of the YouTubers in clickbaiting, I somehow have. Now they're not fantastic tips due to a lack of content, but YouTube is all about quality, I mean sorry, <laughs> quantity over quality, so I should be fine. Thanks again YouTube. Anyway, check out my mildly adequate juicy tips. When double carrying, it's possible to pick up the weapon you've just dropped while continuing to run, but this does require you to be MOG. Weapon sway has finally been reduced in this patch as seen here, but it hasn't been reduced a major amount like people are saying. It's been reduced slightly. There's some rumours going around that barrels, tyres and car parts are bulletproof now, but sadly for this test subject, that isn't true. Teddy bears cause no shock damage or very little shock damage when used as melee weapons, making it near impossible to knock someone out with them. This is the only weapon that does this. If you get these scary demon eyes in this patch, taking off your gloves will remove this bug. Obviously, somehow. Official public and community public servers now have different hives for different characters. The daisy devs have split up the official and community servers so your favourite server is probably hidden inside the community tab. Although added in 0.61, these green containers are great for rare military loot. All other colours spawn industrial loot. A new PU scope reticle has been added and the thickness of this line here is the height of a player in Daisy at 1000 meters while standing, so it's an okay rangefinder too. The repeater, crossbow, improvised bow and flashbang all have different sound effects now. The vehicles are not as loud as they were in previous patches so there's even more reason to stay off the roads now. The flashbang is still very unreliable on whether or not it will blind players so don't rely on flashbangs. The three variations of the giddy suit had their textures changed to suit the new environment textures. This is tanned, woodland and um, black spray paint. To CPR a player you need to continually select the CPR option to remove 50 shock per action. Staying in the animation does nothing. There's a new castle here, a new bridge here and Mishkino has a damn damn. Tolga has been reverted to previous patches, Vavilovo bus and train station has been completely removed and the ski lift has been completely removed. Many train stations have been added to towns and cities around the map to accommodate a train track that now circles the map. The texture needed to craft knives is now much harder to find so crafting one on the beach is highly recommended. Skaliski Island is a fantastic place to pick up weapons and food as a fresh spawn, making the swim over well worth it. Weapons that spawn with a mag inside need to be chambered. You can do this by pressing R or manually reloading. If you come across a weapon with a mag inside that you don't want, take the mag out and stop potential stalkers from killing you. You can now use matches on vehicles to destroy them as a placeholder mechanic to despawn vehicles, but this doesn't work on a bus. I see a lot of players still dying from cholera somehow by drinking water from ponds. As a rule of thumb, if you don't have the healthy status on your character window, only drink from wells. If you're as cheap as I am, you can quickly take the rag out of a fireplace by crafting it into an armband. The fire will still light and you will get to keep your rag. The bone stat doesn't appear to be recovering in the same way it used to in previous patches, so using splints and morphine is vital for prolonged survival now. If you're swarmed by infected, you can filter them into a small choke point to make them easier to deal with. Just be sure that there's an exit inside the building too. When an infected makes you bleed, you lose only 5 blood per second, meaning it will take a full 15 minutes to go unconscious once you get hit, giving you plenty of time to bandage somewhere safe. Circling an infected in the direction of the swing of your weapon will make hitting an infected much easier, making you attack faster too. Having no clothes on or ruined clothes on significantly increases how much bone damage you take from all sources. The Sporter 22, Amphibia S and Trumpet won't attract infected, along with all suppressed weapons. Bonus tab. The Forests of Daisy have completely changed, making it harder to spot enemies and therefore making me scream like an old man that has just broken his hip. <laughs> Well, I pooed my pants. I definitely pooed my pants there. It's a cool meme to hate on Daisy right now, and with how broken the game can be at times, it's easy to bash. But it certainly has improved in some areas such as sound design and visuals in this patch, making the game more immersive. One thing's for sure though, I'm very much looking forward to the next patch because this patch didn't have much content, but it was a nice immersive patch for me. I do like immersion and sound design, but it just, it needs content. This game really needs content right now. Anyway, thanks for watching and thanks to Harry Wookie and Rich German for the help.